bear has been up. I have been getting a good night's sleep. Residents along the McMicken Corridor say barriers set up to block prostitution are working, but some disagree. 30 days ago, city leaders launched a controversial experiment to try and stop Johns from picking up prostitutes. Nine on your side, Shannon Kettler is live and over the Rhine with a progress report tonight from police and the mixed reaction from residents. Shannon? Well, you know, it really depends on who you talk to in this neighborhood. These barricades are set up in three different places along the McMicken corridor to block traffic patterns of Johns. Some say they are a huge inconvenience, while others tell me they've made a huge difference. I walk from my heart. Today, Ernestine Burns says she finally feels comfortable walking in the neighborhood where she's lived for the past 40 years. It's just nice and quiet now. You can sleep, you can, you know, you can come out and work in the yard or just, I take a walk sometime up and down the street. Before the end, the prostitutes running all over into you. To combat prostitution, the city placed these barricades along the McMicken corridor as a short-term and temporary solution to interrupt the traffic patterns of Johns driving in the area and picking up prostitutes. Today, police gave a 30-day progress report to council leaders. And what we've seen is some displacement of these women. Uh, some of them have gone to the West End, but largely they've actually been reduced. The number of women along McMicken is definitely reduced. But some feel these barricades are blocking the convenience of travel, especially for the elderly. Metro changed two routes as a result, upsetting some residents. So the prostitution in the area has not stopped. The Johns still are traveling through, doing what they do. The only thing that's stopped is our quality of life, having access to public transportation. The barricades are expected to come down after another 30 days before school is back in session. In the meantime, some residents say they'll continue to enjoy what they offer. We did citizens on patrol the other night, um, and we talked to people all along McMicken, and people were saying, oh, they're sitting out on their stoops, and it's so quiet, and the kids can play. It's been very positive. Now, the city is also working on some long-term solutions. There. That includes working with a county judge to try and set up a court that deals just with prostitution cases and setting up tougher penalties for the Johns. They're expected to get another update on these barriers in the next 30 days. Reporting live here and over the Rhine, I'm Shannon Kettler, Nine on Your Side.